For today's kidney dissection lab, you'll need a pig or sheep kidney, dissecting tools, a tray, and gloves. First, find the renal capsule if you have a layer on there. Mine isn't um, too apparent today, but if you have a transparent layer on top, that's the capsule that protects the kidney from injury and supports it. You also have a hilum, which is the indented portion of the kidney, and that is where the ureter and renal vein and renal, renal artery come from. So the ureter is the pale, longer or larger tube. Then the renal artery is coming out of the kidney as well. And that is bringing blood from the heart. And the renal vein is then taking the blood back away from the kidney after it's been filtered. Next, we're going to cut our kidney in half. And it's important when you're cutting your kidney to try to cut it as perfectly in half as you can so you can see the most structures. So hold it on its side so that the hilum is down on the tray and then cut straight down the middle. Now once you get your kidney cross-sected, divided in half, you should be able to see a few layers. The first layer that you'll be able to see is the renal cortex, and that is the grainy outer layer around the outside of the kidney. You can see it here. Inside that is a lighter portion, and that is the renal medulla. And that's composed of the renal pyramids, which are a little harder to see on this kidney, but they are triangular shaped portions of that renal medulla. And you'll find the nephrons, which is the functional unit, um, essentially the cell that makes urine, you'll find those nephrons between the renal medulla and the renal cortex. The urine that's produced in the renal pyramids then flows into the minor calyces, or calyx for singular, into the major calyces, and then into the renal pelvis, before it flows out through the ureter and down to the urinary bladder. So again, urine's coming from the renal pyramids and the nephrons located between the renal pyramids and the cortex into the minor calyces, major calyces, renal pelvis, and then out through the ureter down to the bladder. So here is a picture of all the structures we've found. Make sure that you can find these structures before you finish your kidney dissection. And that's where we will wrap up for today.